Now, today's mission is all about the bait. I'm on the hunt for speckled crabs, sand fleas, and that's pretty much it. And I got a really neat toy. I got a new drone. Black Friday just happened, so had to splurge a little bit, step up the video game. We're going to catch bait. We're going to mess around with the drone. It's going to be a good time. I'll see you there. All right guys, we made it and it is extremely windy out here. So if the audio suffers a little bit today, I apologize in advance. Got the crab trap behind me. I'm gonna set it up. Got the water right behind me. This is one of my favorite spots to catch speckled cow, speckled crabs. They're also called calico crabs, but the proper term is speckled crab. So let's get the trap in the water. Here is our homemade crab trap that I bought from a friend a long, long time ago from the pier days. It's got a little bait box thing that you can close with some wire that I have there and what I found is crabs aren't too picky but I always like to use actual fish a lot of people use, like to use chicken and stuff but I'm a firm believer in chicken or in squid mullet stuff like that so we put our bait in here put all that good squid in there close it up okay and then we have the kahuna wagon which honestly i've put it in the one unboxing video this thing is seriously badass it's like the rolls royce of fishing carts and it goes off road i take it on these rocks here on these rocks over here got the big balloon wheels and i'm going to use it as a little platform or an anchor to hold my crab trap line in place it off to our kahuna wagon and that's all there is to it now we sit and wait and wait for the crabs to crawl in i'll show you guys a little bit more of the anatomy of the crab trap and why it works and how they get in and then they can't get out and you guys are asking yourself vic why are you making a bait video well sometimes you just gotta go bait fishing and tomorrow and wednesday we got a really big cold front coming in florida it's actually kind of here now and i think i'm gonna go pompano fishing slash permit fishing slash sheep's head fishing up in Sebastian with Joey and Chris Lowe and people you guys have seen in videos before and I just want to have a bunch of bait prepared because they've been getting a lot of big permit off the beach on sand fleas which is usually on a pompano rig but if you can put a crab in their face they should probably smoke it that's what the crabs are for so now I'm going to show you guys how to catch sand fleas which is honestly a lot of fun we're on the head cam now so this is what you do got a sand flea rake right here which is basically just like this funky looking basket and I'm gonna show you guys how to use it but the holes are specifically designed to not let sand fleas through which we're about to catch and you can sift all the sand out in the water so I got a bucket there's already a sand flea in there so now when it comes to finding them I like to kind of stand uh, orient myself this way to the waves and what you'll see is you're looking for a disturbance in the surf line so where the tide comes up to where it recedes you're gonna see almost like bubbles or it looks like it just doesn't look normal but a lot of times it can be confusing a lot of times it can be confusing because you'll actually be seeing shells and rocks instead of the sand fleas so let me see if we can find a school of sand fleas a secret for sand fleas Look for these little birds right here. They are masters at catching them and that's what they're looking for in the sand. Sorry, dude. So we do a little bit of that and then you sift your sand in the water and you come up empty handed and then you try again. There's one. So this is what we're after right here. This is the sand flea. Pretty slow today. I've only gotten two. And certain beaches are definitely better than others. This beach so far has not been too good. Oh, there they are. To that time. So I actually did this yesterday at a different beach and probably got like four dozen, which is nowhere near good or what I want. But um, I know that this beach is better for crabs and I struck out on crabs. I threw the crab trap 
at actually three different beaches yesterday and did not get a, well I got one, which is not good for like two or three hours of crabbing. So we're gonna keep walking up and down and just look for the fleas, look for those little colonies, their heads or antennas, whatever you wanna call it, poking up out of the sand. Got him! That is the calico crab we're looking for. Never caught one like that, but that was pretty cool. Never done that before. I saw this guy just chilling on the surf and that's exactly what we want for that permit bait. Come on, buddy. So I think I'm gonna go back and check on the crab trap because there's not too many sand fleas down that way. Caught that one calico, which was pretty cool. Hopefully the trap is full. Check it out guys, this is what we're after. These are the speckled crabs. You see how there's a ramp right here and what happens is they can go up the ramp and then they fall down and they have a harder time getting back up over the lip of the ramp than they do when they fall down. So they stay in the cage and they just end up eating the sides of the squid and they'll stay in there for hours until they get smart enough to get back out. Kind of surprised we only got two. There may have been more in there, but like I said, they could have gone out. We have no idea. There could have been 10 crabs in there. Highly unlikely. Don't want to think that way, but there could have been. Now to get them out, all we do is we flip the cage upside down. And you try to get them to go out of the ramp and into the bucket, just like that. But a lot of times they'll hold on to it with their claws because they have no idea what's going on. Come on, buddy. Almost there, there we go. And this guy only has one claw. So you can grab them. If you grab them by the backside and then grab their claw, they're not like blue crabs in terms of their claw size. They're a lot smaller. I don't think they get as big either. I don't know how far away they can smell it from, so we're gonna go ahead, give our luck in some deeper water. So I just pulled up the trap and got two more crabs. decided to move down like actually on the beach instead of the jetty and I'm just gonna kind of walk like every 15 feet 20 feet and try to put my trap out from the surf maybe I'll get a bit get better results and in the meantime try to catch those sand fleas it's also it's just hot you got the nice condo in the background giving you some artificial shade which you can't beat that I didn't get big ones but I found the mother load of babies We got a ton of little ones in the trap right now. Careful getting them out. Get in there. There we go. Climb on in there, join your friends. We almost lost our squid. That's not good. I'm shaking the trap too much. And our squid, squid was getting away. Get back in there. Looks like this is a pretty decent little spot to get these babies in. You know, elephants eat peanuts. You don't need a, uh, a monster crab to catch a permit. A permit will slurp. A 50 pound permit will eat this thing as long as you present it the right way. And I'm sure a really big pompano would eat it as well. And we're gonna toss the trap out. Set that like that. Pro tip, get yourself a little sand spike like this. Not only is it good for pompano, but set your trap out like there, just like that. Stay on there, buddy. Oh yeah. We're looking good. Get in there, get in there, get in there. About to have the maiden voyage with the new drone. Wish me luck because this thing is a lot more expensive than the first one. And if I crash this thing, not gonna be too happy about it. We're 
coming up on Deerfield Pier. Those were my old stomping grounds back in the day. Pretty much the place I learned to fish and grew up. Met a lot of my good friends and honestly I'd say that was like the foundation of my fishing. As you guys see there's a pretty good reef line by the pier and that's probably why it would hold so many fish at times we've caught a ton of snapper there before and this whole reef line runs right alongside the pier the amount of big and i'm talking big sharks we caught off that pier was also insane some of my biggest hammerheads ever and that reef just basically goes all the way down almost to hillsborough inlet it's insane. This drone is faster, way more responsive. The signal doesn't cut out. There's the pier. And like right over there, the last set of buildings you guys can see, there's Boca Inlet. That's where we're crabbing today and that's where I'm at now. And it's just incredible. <laughs> this thing is so cool. Just rolled up back to the house. Now, this is the new drone right here. This is no toy. The Mavic Air that I was filming with in previous videos, that thing feels like a toy compared to this. Like, I don't know how to com compare it. It's just the, it just feels solid. You don't feel like you're flying a little remote control thing that you're getting your seven year old son for Christmas this year. It's like you're flying a real machine. You're like flying a little mini plane. The image quality from all the reviews I've done are, is, is supposed to be superb. I mean, you guys already saw it. I got to get better, better at color grading and all that and just constantly learning. But I'm super excited to use this. Um, Joey, who I'm going to be fishing with the next two days, he uses his drone a ton. And he finds big schools of fish off the beach, which our inshore fishery down where Brooke and I live isn't that good. But up there, like Sebastian, Vero, Melbourne, Stewart, Jupiter, you find really big schools of everything. Black drum, jack, sharks. And I know this thing is going to be so sick during the mullet run next year, which I still have mullet run footage I haven't posted from this year, and the black tip migration. It's just bigger, badder, the battery lasts longer, the, the picture is clearer, sharper. It's just got way more functions. So super excited to, super excited to use that. And um, so check this out. This is our all of crabs. So let me get one out for you guys. So this is called a speckled crab. And these things are found all along the surf. So up and down the beach, I don't really know how far up north they go. I know that we get them solid down here all the way to Miami. I don't know about the Keys and um, really want to do a catch and cook with one but the as you guys see like this is around the biggest size i got today the the claws on them are much smaller than a blue crab so you're not going to get a lot of meat there a blue crab this size would probably have claws twice as big honestly and the body's not that big so it would probably be really tedious to eat but i gotta try it and i've seen a couple of videos not a lot of catching cooks have been done on them but they should be good i don't see why not they're a crab species i think they look really cool and what i like about them is a lot of people don't know they exist i had so many spectators and beachgoers just come up to me they're like what are you doing oh there's no crabs here i'm like yeah they're all underneath your feet so next time you guys are at the beach pull up this video or put this mental image in your head that is what's underneath your feet and probably hundreds of them a lot of times they're shy and they won't go into the trap or they don't want to eat or they're just not very active but i mean a few hours of crabbing got myself a decent amount of permit bait 
and so hopefully I get on the permit with Joey. Now the sand fleas, didn't get too many sand fleas. It's actually pretty pitiful. I didn't put a lot of effort into getting them either. But Joey said he's got a bunch and I'll probably just fish some fish bites. But check this out. These are crazy little looking animals. They, um, you see them crawling on my hand? They bury themselves in the sand. And so they bury themselves in the sand and this end right here, this little protrusion sticks out and that's what's the giveaway with these guys. So very cool. I like showing you guys a little bit of my life and what I grew up doing and what I currently do because a lot of you guys I know are from all around the world and you may not know that when you come to Florida for spring break winter break whatever it may be or some of you may even be locals and never know that all of this exists at the beach probably a really fun thing that you guys could do with your kids if you have young kids take them to go catch crabs sand fleas just make a day out of it so I'm gonna go ahead last thing I gotta do bag these up and I think the next video you guys will see will probably be from the perm permit and pompano trip with the crabs and sand fleas that I'm gonna bring up there I'll catch you guys in that next video and I want to thank you guys so much for watching this one coming along on this beautiful day and enjoying the adventure with me subscribe if you haven't already smash that like button and I'll see you guys in that next video